the brother of Jared and the Jaredites. Jared and his brother lived a long time before the Nephites. They lived in a place called Babel. Many wicked people lived there. The wicked people built a tower to get to heaven. God was angry. God changed the language of the wicked people. They all used different words. They could not understand each other. The brother of Jared was a righteous man. He asked God not to change the language of his family and friends. They were called Jaredites. God told the Jaredites he would lead them to a promised land. They left their homes and went to the sea. The brother of Jared did not pray for a long time. Jesus Christ told the brother of Jared to repent and pray often. The brother of Jared repented and Jesus forgave him. Jesus told him to build some boats to go to the promised land. The brother of Jared obeyed Jesus Christ. The Jaredites built eight boats. The Jaredites finished the boats. The brother of Jared told Jesus there was no light in the boats. Jesus told him to think of a way to get light. The brother of Jared got 16 small stones. They were white. He took the stones to the top of a mountain and prayed. He asked Jesus to touch the stones with his finger and make them shine. Jesus touched the stones and made them shine. The brother of Jared was afraid when he saw Jesus Christ's finger. The brother of Jared had faith in Jesus Christ. Because of his faith, he saw the finger of Jesus Christ. Jesus knew the brother of Jared had great faith. Jesus showed himself to the brother of Jared. The brother of Jared saw that men looked like Jesus Christ. The brother of Jared carried the stones down the mountain. He put two stones in each boat. The Jaredites got into the boats to go to the promised land. After many days, the Jaredites came to the promised land. They thanked God for helping them. Years went by. There were many Jaredites. Their leaders taught them to obey God. Some of the Jaredites were wicked. They had many wars, many people died. More and more people became wicked. They stopped obeying God's commandments. God sent prophets to tell the people to repent. If they would not repent, they would be killed. But the people would not repent. They were still wicked. The Jaredites fought each other for many years. They fought all day long. At night, they slept by their swords. They were so wicked, they would not stop fighting. The Jaredites fought until all but two of them were killed. Ether was one of the men who lived. He was a Jaredite prophet. He wrote what he saw on the gold plates and hid them. The 
plates were like a book. Later, they were found by the Nephites.